Hi, welcome to Homeschool Together. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Zoe and Sassafras series. This is used in the Torchlight Kindergarten curriculum, which is an around the world study. And we wanted to talk about this series of six books and tell you what we liked, what we didn't like, and whether or not you should buy this or pick it up from the library. So Zoe and Sassafras is the story of Zoe. She is a budding scientist and her cat Sassafras that is a cat. Um, but he seems to be a very intelligent cat that she can almost communicate with just by looks, so that's pretty fun. So the really unique thing is that Zoe's mom, and Zoe has inherited this trait, can see magical creatures. Um, and so these magical creatures show up on their doorstep and Zoe needs to help them in what I think is usually a pretty believable way. A lot of times for children's books, when children have to uh, solve a problem uh, or you know be the be the hero in the story it's oftentimes unbelievable that parent wouldn't be around uh, but these are actually pretty believable of when she was kind of on her own oh her mom's at a conference and only she's the one that can see the magical creature and her dad can't see it and he doesn't know about it so she's the one that has to do it things like that I thought they did a good job of, of working in so each magical creature comes to Zoe with a particular problem and she needs to use her scientific reasoning skills to help this creature. So she's going to uh, have a hypothesis. She's gonna set up an experiment. She's taking notes. She's documenting her results. She's dealing with the failure that inevitably comes from the first few experiments and trying to you know, logic out the puzzle of what could really be the cause for each of these problems that these magical creatures are having. I think it's a super inventive way to put science into an engaging children's book. So let's get into our ratings. These are all out of five. Uh, first of all, for style, I, we're gonna give this a four. I think that this is really great. It's got these cute little uh, drawings. There's not as many drawings um, on every page. You know, there's a few, let's see, every, every couple of pages, I'd say maybe every two spreads, you're gonna find an engaging black and white photo. And then there's lots of sections here. Let me find one here. Uh, sections here where you get bits of her notes, where she's saying, oh, so question, what do baby dragons like to eat? Uh, materials, so she's gonna try worms, apple slices, eggs, cheese, marshmallows, All right? So she's trying different things because this baby dragon is very hungry in this, in this first book here, Dragons uh, and Marshmallows. Uh, so I think it's really good for style. It's got nice big letters, pretty short chapters. I would say you could read through this in a single sitting. We usually did it in about two sittings um, because it was just a little bit longer and it gave my, our daughter a little bit uh, more of a chance to wrap her head around what, uh, what was being covered. But I think this was really good. So for style, this is, this is a really nice engaging book. Uh, our child rating, I, I gotta give this a five. Our daughter absolutely loved these six books. When we would get done with one, she would pull the next one down and be like, let's read this right now. I'm mean, like, I just finished this one. She's like, no, we have to read them all right now. If it were up to her, we would have read them all and reread them multiple times. She loved this series. I can't say that highly enough. From a parent perspective, I'm also going to give it a five. I have not seen science integrated this well into an early elementary book uh, ever. So I, I can't go wrong with it. As a parent, I enjoyed reading about it. I enjoyed thinking ahead a little bit about like, hmm, if I was approached with this, as I'm kind of reading, I'm thinking in my mind, what would I have tried? Um, so I think it's pretty cool. Like, how is she going to get out of these things? So as a parent, I found this engaging to read. It didn't lose my interest. I didn't mind reading it multiple times when my daughter kept requesting that we read this over and over. So I really liked that. Um, from an enrichment standpoint, I'm going to say this is a four because it's it's integrating all of these scientific, um, you know, scientific methodologies here, you know, thinking about what is our hypothesis and how do I set up an experiment? And more importantly than anything, I think it's the amount of times that Zoe fails. She fails and she gets discouraged and she talks with her mom and she reformulates her experiment and she finally figures it out. And I think showing that that, that perseverance, that, you know, try and try again type um, mentality is really important for our kids to see in heroes. So I think that's really great. So from an enriching standpoint, I think this is very enriching. Um, from a lifespan standpoint, I'm gonna say it's a three. We've reread these a number of times so far, so I think that they're gonna get reread. I think that when our daughter can read herself, I see her picking up these books and reading them again to herself. Um, so I think that this is a pretty good investment. You know, should you buy this book as opposed to get it from the library? I think it's a toss up. Each book is six bucks. You can get the entire set of six for 25, which I think is a pretty decent deal. Um, considering how much we enjoyed them, I think it's a good get. Uh, and if you do want to purchase, we have a link in the show notes below. And thank you. You'll help support our channel. We appreciate that. 
I do want to mention that there are nine books in total. There's only six that are called out in the Torchlight curriculum. I expect that's how many were published when the curriculum was published because there are now nine and I think they're still coming out with more if I'm right. So um, you can definitely get more than this, but the first six were terrific. We highly recommend them. Um, so that is the Zoe and Sassafras series and thanks for watching Homeschool Together.